Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. In this video, let us discuss about the disease known as Onchocerciasis. And this Onchocerciasis is also called as river blindness. It is a parasitic disease which is mainly caused by a parasite known as Onchocerca volvulus. And the main aim of this parasite is to cause blindness in the human beings. And about 15.5 million people were dead according to this type of disease. Approximately 0.8 million people were attacked with their blindness because of this parasite. Because of the attack of this parasite. And normally this Onchocerciasis is a disease which is commonly seen in the areas such as Sub-Saharan Africa, Central and South America. And here is a scientist name called Rodolfo Rubbles. He is a scientist who discovered this eye disease in 1915. And he also came to know that this is a parasite which causes a disease known as Onchocerciasis. And this Onchocerciasis disease has been registered as 28th neglected tropical disease in World Health Organization called as WHO. And according to the survey of 2008, about 99% of the disease has been caused from the Africa. It was came to know in the survey of the 2008. And the main cause of this disease called Onchocerciasis is mainly caused by these black flies. And what is this black flies and what is the purpose of this black flies? You can know more about the life cycle in the life cycle. I'm going to explain it later. So uh, this black flies belongs to the genus called Simulium. So now let us learn about the Onchocerca volvulus, which is a parasite which causes a disease known as Onchocerciasis. And it is the second leading cause of blindness. In the to, throughout the worldwide, I am saying about okay, it is a second leading cause of blindness and it belongs to the kingdom Animalia, it belongs to the phylum Nematoda, and it belongs to the family Onchocerca. And now, this is bisexual, that's nothing but males as well as the females are separated. And here, males, the, when you compare with the size, the males are smaller when compared to the females, that's nothing but the size of the male ranges up to 23 millimeters in length, where compared to the females. 230 to 700 millimeters in length and the lifespan of this both uh, uh, sorry i am saying you hear about the lifespan of the female that's nothing but 1 to 1.5 years and coming to the male after the copulation that's nothing but after the completion of mating with the female the immediately the male will die okay and so the lifespan of the female is 1 to 1.5 years and if you see the structures of the male worm as well as the female worm it will look like this when you see with the help of a microscope any type of microscope like fluorescent microscope it may be bright field or dark field microscope you can see the structures of the uh, this parasite like this worms like this so now let us discuss about the life cycle of this onchocerca volvulus which causes a disease known as onchocerciasis so the life cycle of this onchocerciasis occurs in two hosts that's nothing but first one is black fly and end there is human beings. So now here I am going to I am going to start this life cycle from the human beings such that you can clearly understand how this black fly plays a major role in this life cycle. Okay. So come into the life cycle. I am going to start it. So if you see here, this is a black fly, and this black fly will start biting to on the layer on the skin layer of the human beings. So this is a dermal layer and this is a black fly and this black make sure that this black fly was infected. That's nothing but this black fly consists of J3 or L3 larva. That's nothing but third stage of larva. Juvenile third stage of larva. Okay. So this gut of this black fly consists of J3 or L3 larva. And now when this black fly bites the human being, then it bites on the dermal layer. That's nothing but on the skin layer, right? So when it bites immediately, this J3 or L3 larva which is present inside the gut of the fly will enter into the subcutaneous tissue. Right? And normally it first enters into the dermal layer and then finally it enters into the subcutaneous tissue like this. So within the subcutaneous tissue, this L3 larva will get settled over there. Okay, and now what happens is that this L3 larva which has been settled over in this subcutaneous tissue within 6 to 12 months it will get matured and will uh, transform into adult male as well as the adult female worms. Okay, and not only the male worms, not only the male worms or not only the female worms will enter into the subcutaneous tissue, both the male as well as the female worms will enter into the subcutaneous tissue, not only two, there will be many, many, many worms. Okay, and that many worms will get adult, will get into, will, I mean, will, they will get transformed into adult worms in such a way that they will get differentiated into male worms as well as the female worms within 6 to 12 months, right? And then what happens? Now these male worms as well as the female worms are adult, right? So they are in the active form. So they has ability to get copulated. I mean, they has ability to mate. So when they has ability to mate, they start mating and they will, they will form eggs. All of these are called as eggs. And now what happens? Hatching of the eggs occurs. When the hatching of the eggs occurs, then what happens? The larva will get protruded out from the egg, right? And that larva is called as J1 or L1 larvae. 
and that larvae the size of the larvae ranges up to 300 micrometers in length okay so the size ranges up to 300 micrometers in length and this larva is called as j1 larvae or it is also called as l1 larvae juvenile first stage larvae okay and now what happens this j1 larvae or l1 larvae uh, which is present in the subcutaneous tissue will again get bited by the insect so up to here what i have explained you up to here is the life cycle which occurs in the human beings so now let us discuss about the life cycle which occurs in the insect called as black fly so now what happens j1 or l1 larvae has been produced from the eggs and normally these are present in the subcutaneous tissue of the skin only right and now what happens now this j1 or l1 larvae which is present in the subcutaneous tissue will get bited by the insect called as black fly and then when it gets bited see this arrow mark this arrow mark indicates that the fly is sorry the larvae which is present inside the subcutaneous tissue will enter into the gut because of the blade meal which will be insected by the black fly in such a way the gut wall of the black fly consists of this l1 larvae or as it is also called as first stage j1 larvae okay so now what happens that larvae which is present inside the gut so this is the proper structure which i have drawn uh, this is a gut and from the gut what happens is that it will enter into the thoracic flight muscles and they will transform into j2 or l2 larvae they will get transformed into j2 or l2 larvae and now this j2 or l2 larvae will get uh, enter into i mean will they will get transported you know it will get moved it will get moved into salivary glands of the insect salivary glands of the insect because the, the, the life cycle which i am explained you is about in the in the insect right so now this j3 or l3 larva will get transformed i mean this j, from the stage of the j2 to l2 larvae it will get transformed into j3 or l3 larvae where in the salivary glands so these are the male as well as the female worms remember these are still in inactive form only they are not in active form they are inactive in form remember that one so why what is mean by active form active form is nothing but uh, it is a stage where they can mate where the both male as well as the female worms will get mated that's nothing but which occurs in the human beings so the active form it will get transformed transformed into active form only in the stages of the human but not in the insect but uh, the life cycle which occurs in the insect or uh, the worms which are present still in the insect are inactive in form only they are not in active form but they are separated as well as the both male as well as the female worms so now these both j3 or l3 larvae uh, which are in the bisexual that's nothing but the male as well as the female worms uh, will get uh, will get uh, reached up to the mouth of the sal mouth of the you know insect and when this mouth of the insect will get bite again this dermal layer i mean when it will get bite the insect when the insect will get bited over to these human beings again then what happens is that the dermal layer uh, will form the pores in such a way that the larvae which is present inside the gut of the black fly will enter into the subcutaneous tissue and again the uh, life cycle will begins properly again so here the, again the subcutaneous tissue and here the it will get matured into adult male as well as the female worms so when it gets into adult form then immediately what happens the mating occurs in such a way that the eggs will be formed and that eggs will get hatched and that hatched larvae will be protruded out and that larvae will again get inserted into the black fly and that black fly again this uh, you know this cycle will be repeated again that's nothing but j1 to l2 j or j1 to j2 j2 to j3 in this way the total life cycle will occurs so this is about the life cycle of the oncocerca volvulus and uh, which causes a disease known as oncocerciasis so now let us learn about the symptoms so coming to the symptoms the symptoms which you, which you can see in the person who is infected with this type of disease known as onchocerciasis are bumps on the skin, rashes, scars, visual impairment. That's nothing but visual impairment is nothing but uh, where you cannot see some type of colors. Only regular colors you can see but uh, many type of colors we cannot be, uh, the people cannot be seen. Okay. So eye redness, itching, swollen lymph nodes and inflammation in eye. So these are the common symptoms which you can see in a person who is infected with this type of disease known as onchocerciasis. So now let us see the treatment which will be given for a person who is infected with this disease. Uh, coming to the medications, ivermectin and the doxycycline. These are the, uh, you know, these are the antiparasitic drugs which will be given for a person who is infected with this disease known as onchocerciasis. And here ivermectin plays a major role in such a way that it will kill the larvae and the eggs, which I have said you in the uh, life cycle right so if you see in the case of the life cycle what i have said you in the life cycle he, these are the larvae right and these are the eggs so when you will uh, when when the doctor will insert uh, ivermectin in your body then immediately this eggs as well as this l1 larvae will get killed but but the male worms will not get killed okay the adult worms as well as the, the both male as well as the female will be stay alive even though ivermectin has been injected into your body only the eggs as well as the larvae will be killed but not adult as well as the female and male worms as i have written here 
they will kill larvae and eggs but they will not kill adult worms so this is about the onchocerciasis disease so i hope you people would understand what is about this onchocerciasis and you people got the basic idea about this disease i think and if you like this video just do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box thank you